Hello and welcome. Now, in a moment, the big lotto roll of a draw with a chance to win millions. I mean, just imagine that. But a couple who already know that feeling are Paul and Marie Kibler. And they'll be joining us shortly to tell us all about winning that jackpot last week. But first, the National Lottery Awards celebrate the achievements of good causes, big and small, up and down the country. And the hunt is now on for nominations for the National Lottery Awards 2012. Is there a local good cause project that you think deserves recognition? Well, this is your chance to tell us the stories behind the projects close to your heart. Head online for the links for more info and submit your nomination. Yeah, you have until the 12th of March, folks. But before all of that, though, well, it's Thunderball. OK, Al, it's over to you. Sure thing. Release those midweek balls, please, Julie. And sellable seven were chosen for us earlier today by Doug Gosling from South Oxy. And a draw team tonight, draw master Julie Morrissey, Morrissey independent of Judy Gettys, Sean Fleet Mill. On Saturday, well over 185,000 lucky tickets won a prize. Well done if one of those weekend winners happened to be you, John. Indeed, well done and good luck. Here we go. <laughs> he enjoys this far too much, you know. Which is going to be first? There's the answer. Look, number 12. And next. This Wednesday night. Is this any good for you? Look at that. 22. And the third to be drawn. Which is it going to be? There's the answer. Look, that's number five. Two more needed from this, our first machine. Here's the first up. And that is number 37. And the final ball from this, our first machine, is right there. 28. Excellent. Jump. Now imagine this next ball could multiply your winnings by a hundred, so no pressure there then. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. This number could make a big difference to what you win, but which is it going to be? Round and round they go, chasing each other, and then up pops that one, which is number 12. So here are tonight's Thunderbolt numbers again, this time in ascending order. 5, 12, 22, 28, and 37, the Thunderball, 12, jump! In a moment, it's your chance to become a multi-millionaire. But first, I'd like you to meet one of our most recent jackpot winners. They are Paul and Marie Kibler. Well, good evening, Paul. Good evening. And Marie, welcome to Lotto <laughs> HQ. Thank you. So, take us back, because this time last week, you both became multi-millionaires. Tell the viewers at home what happened. Well, I was sitting downstairs uh, looking at the screen, watching the balls come up, and I started checking my lottery, and uh, I got two numbers up, and then I looked at the last two, I knew I'd got those as well, but the middle two I didn't know I'd got, and, and then when I found out that I got the six numbers, I, I sort of just looked at my ticket in you know, I was so quiet, it was just unbelievable. <laughs> Amazing. And then I believe he just casually went upstairs. Yeah, and... went upstairs to bed, yeah, and, 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 and showed the... Uh... <laughs> so was it a restful night's sleep? <laughs> Very, I didn't sleep all night. <laughs> and by, I guess you didn't know that you'd won at that point, did you? No, you didn't, no. I mean, absolutely amazing. Have you thought what you're going to do with the winnings? I hear maybe a little cruise, perhaps. Yes, we'd oh. like to take Paul's father and my daughters and my grandchildren on a cruise. That was my dream for my 65 his birthday and now I'll be able to do it. That is absolutely fantastic. So the money's in your account, you think I'm going to go and celebrate, you go out to dinner and what happens Paul? I didn't take any money. <laughs> <laughs> The old leaving the wallet at home routine, eh? I guess that habit's going to take quite a while to break. Uh, and I believe maybe you've retired now, is that true? Yes. Retired or? Yeah, uh, retired or resigned. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, thank you so much for coming down. But don't go anywhere because you guessed it, folks. Here comes Lotto. Now, we know it's a rollover, and you know how much I love a rollover, Al. So, what's in that pot tonight? Only two worlds. A nice lotto <laughs> rollover jackpot is a whopping £7.2 million. Ooh, fantastic. Well, Al, let's do this. Okay, release those rollover balls, please, Julie. 
Now, thanks to Mr. Gosling, we're using Lancelot and Sellables number eight. No one hit the jackpot on Saturday, but there were 11 very lucky ticket holders who matched with five plus the bonus to each scoop over 130 grand. Many congratulations from all of us here to them and the other 436,000 weekend winners. John! Okay, Julie, are we ready? Yes, we're ready, John. Okay, guys, you know what to do. Good luck, everybody. Best of luck, everybody. Well done, and bless you both for watching the show. There's the first one. That is number seven. Third draw in a row for that one. 199th time. It's a lotto main ball. Almost the magic 200. Next is that one there, number 13. 13, the number of organisations that now distribute lottery funding to the schemes we tell you about right here. There's the next one, number 31, with us the weekend before last as well. 269th lotto outing. And fourth to be drawn is number 44, 257th lotto appearance. An old friend with us half a dozen Saturdays back to next. Number 36. We haven't seen that since Christmas Eve. Remember that far back? The main lotto ball for the 195th time now. And the sixth one is number 16. Joined us all of nine Saturdays ago too. That one, 213th. Lotto outing. The bonus tonight is 26. So, Millionaire's Row midweek looks like this in ascending order. 7. 13. 16. 31. 36. And 44. The bonus tonight, 26. Johnny P. Well, that's all from us for now. Thanks so much for coming in. And enjoy spending that cash. <laughs> <laughs> now, Miley will be here on Saturday with more big money draws and a very special National Lottery Award winning guest. So, I guess it's all for me to say is have a great week. It's good night from me, from Paul and Marie, and your bad boy, Al. <laughs> it's good night. <laughs>